I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at my Amazon Echo Dot fourth generation. Um, so I really love the design on this. It's got this kind of mesh, like fabric-y type of feel to the outside. Um, it's not actually fabric, but it looks very organic. It looks very natural. Um, in this case, I have it on this nice uh, 1980s dresser in my uh, baby's nursery. And it just has, again, this sort of rounded, um, kind of soft feel that some of the other Previous devices were a little bit more kind of gadgety. This just feels like it blends into the decor nicely. Um, you can see it still has a clock on there, so you get a little bit of a display screen. Um, and I think that's nice. It kind of almost glows through that kind of mesh. And uh, I, again, I really like the way that that looks. And then we got our light ring at the bottom and we have some simple controls on the top. So we can control volume um, up and down by pressing these and you can see the little readout is gonna tell me the volume level as I change the volume setting on here. Um, I also have a button to disable the microphone. That's great for privacy. So I can turn the microphone off. We'll get this, this red light projected around. It's gonna tell me um, that my microphone is off and then the yellow light indicates that um, I've got a notification that I could listen to when I'm ready. So switch this back on and um, just like any other device, I can activate it by saying, Alexa, Hello. Hello. For the father figures who are pun stoppable, I have a few gifts. Alexa, stop. Just say. So you can see when we say her name, um, she wakes up and um, the little light ring down here will glow, glow blue and we'll get a little uh, directional indicator showing that she's listening to you. And um, that way you can access any of the voice features that you want to have on here. So you can tie into home automation, you can switch lights and things on and off, you can get information. Like I can say, Alexa, what's the weather? Alexa, what's the weather? In Lafayette, there's an excessive heat warning in effect Thursday, June 17th, 11 a.m. to Alexa, Friday, stop. June 8th. So I got a weather report. You can see it even puts the temperature into that little display screen there, 77 degrees. Um, and that's great because, again, you don't have a screen on here, but you can still get some visual information read out there as well as you could hear she was going to start to do the whole weather report. Um, I also love that you can get music on here, and the sound quality is actually really good on the speaker on this. So I can say, Alexa, play some Beethoven. Shuffling songs by Ludwig van Beethoven on Amazon Music. A little somber, but uh, still nice to have the uh, the sound. And again, I can change um, the volume, make it quite loud, quite soft. Alexa, stop. So she'll respond. Um, and you can ask for a lot of different music. It doesn't have to be classical music, but uh, that's what I decided to use for here. Um, and you can ask for all kinds of different info. You can make phone calls just by asking to call a specific number, which is great if you want to do a hands-free call, stay in touch with family, um, or make a call to a local restaurant, maybe place a food order. Um, I really love that this is just, again, this little sort of organic, nice-looking sphere that still brings all of the functionality of an Amazon Echo device into your space. Um, and I really love, again, this little screen where you can just get some visual information read back out. And really the sky's the limit here. You can do so many different things with the device. Anything that, uh, that Alexa is able to support, you can go ahead and do on here. Um, so that's why I love the, uh, the Echo Dot fourth generation.